say I don't I don't care what they're doing. I know who they are. I don't need statistics. I don't need data. I know exactly who the men are. I don't need to read a book. I don't need to go somewhere and find a study. I know exactly who they are. And if the majority of them are running around here touching children, why is it so foreign for you to think that they ain't a homeboy? <laughs> Sister says all men are gay. My sisters are losing. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. I've said it many times before on this channel and for the new subs I'll say it again. Here at Manosphere Highlights Daily we do not hate women. I repeat, here at Manosphere Highlights Daily we do not hate women. We started this channel for educational purposes. Like Morpheus said, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. And that's what the red pill is all about, the truth. It's on you to decide what you're going to do with it. We do our best to give you honest and accurate information to make you think and hopefully help you in this society. Speaking about the truth, in this video you're going to get a good example of why sisters and women in general are losing. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do. Because we men and we. Yeah. Yeah. We men and we. Yeah. Yeah. But you're comfortable with believing that your uncle that was married to your aunt for over 25 years but he still assaulted you but you it's a far-fetched concept for you to believe that he's gay and the only reason why it's a far-fetched concept for you because really you know what let me clear that up it really isn't a far-fetched concept for you what it is is you don't want to believe that you're sleeping with a man that likes to sleep with other men you don't want to believe that you don't want to believe that the man you're attracted to could possibly be somewhere sucking dick. You don't want to believe that. So since you don't want to believe that, you would rather sit in your last leg of male identification and say, no, I don't think all men are that way. You can find the link to the full video in the description because she is using a lot of words that are not healthy for this channel. She's basically talking about grape and assault and she mentions the uncle being gay. And this is where she starts to lose credibility. Because we all know that saying all men are gay is a huge generalization. Most men are not gay. According to the data, the rainbow community is only 5.6%. Now I just gave you a stat and that's where things become interesting. Do you know that that is still you wearing your mammy cape? This is why I say a lot of the stuff that y'all say and do, y'all don't even understand that you are just naturally male identified naturally male identified you do not relate to the causes and issues of women you don't even understand men at all at all you do not get them at all you do not get them at the rawest core of who they are and you are still refusing to accept who they are at the rawest core you're you still have your little secular things that you're willing to cape for and then when a it's like me that shows up that's sovereign. I'm sovereign as hell and I'm a womanist and I know exactly who the fuck men are. I don't give a fuck what they say. I don't I don't care what they're doing. I know who they are. I don't need statistics. I don't need data. I know exactly who the fuck men are. I don't need to read a book. I don't need to go somewhere and find a study. I know exactly who they are. And if the majority of them are running around here touching children, why is it so foreign for you to think that they ain't f***ing they homeboy? The foolishness. How in the blue hell can you take a woman like this seriously? She clearly states that she does not need to read a book or look for a study. But she does not provide any evidence that proves that what she is saying is true. This world is too big for you to make such a broad statement without evidence. This is that color purple foolishness that women eat for breakfast without doing their due diligence. Like I've said before, this channel is for educational purposes. It won't help you if we just put out random information based on how we feel or my personal experience in life. I'm not going to tell you that all women are gay just to make you feel better. No. However, I am going to tell you that according to Lemler's study, 59% of women fantasize about sleeping with other women even if they are heterosexual. Men do not have this fantasy because most men are not gay. And to take it a step further, she says she's a sovereign woman. I had to look that up. And one of the things that I've found, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but on this site you can find information about this. 
Let's read. Being a sovereign woman is your true nature. If you don't feel it, it's only because that part of you has been buried. Let's reveal your sovereignty together. Now here are a couple points that they make that I want to highlight. She feels grounded and secure in her relationships because she's committed to liberating herself from quote unquote victim beliefs as they arise and knows how to cultivate her strength consistently. She is inspired to practice relationship skills that help her and others to thrive. What this sister is doing is not helping these women. It's making them feel good in the moment, calling all men gay, but not in the long run. She says, I don't give a F what these men have to say, and you don't provide receipts. This says a lot about your attitude, and you're transferring this foolishness onto other women. Misery loves company. Why is it so foreign for you to not understand that men who are the most, most, oh my God, sexually liberated human beings ever, ever, they are known for their liberation. They are known for their prowling behavior and how they seek women out for sexual needs and purposes. They are known for that. They are known for violating. They are known for overcrossing boundaries sexually. But when it comes to a man, that's where women draw the line and say, no, he's not doing that. He's not gay. Come on now. You talk about sexual liberation. What does that mean? They've asked people about it. And here are some answers. Interestingly, many college students do agree with the idea of being sexually liberated, but admit they do not fully know what it means. Exactly. There is a lot of confusion because of incomplete information, false information, etc, etc. And if you want to help people, you have to clear the smoke. Let's read. It's about owning who you are when it comes to a sense of pleasure, said Michael Jones, a sophomore mechanical engineering student. Knowing what pleases you without being restrained by other people's opinions. Doing what you want to do. For women, I think of it as women having sex with whoever they want and not worrying about stuff like body counts. Here's another one by a female student, Brianna Grant, that tried to define sexually liberated. It means your body, your choice. Women can do what they want with their bodies because it's just that, their bodies. You can see that people are not on the same page when it comes to this liberation. The links are all in the description so you can read for yourself. Men are not free to do what they want. And to take it a step further, most men cannot do whatever they want. We have many, 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 many videos on this channel that prove that. How much proof do you need? In modern times, it's women that can do most of the nasty stuff and get away with it. You don't get the same treatment as men when it comes to liberation. And once again, that gay card is used for you to feel good about yourself. Come on now. And don't let me even get into the idea of the fact that the male G-spot is inside of his ass. That was God's way of telling you what was up. And you still don't want to know. Let's get into the spiritual aspect of this. Because God's way of telling you what was up was by placing a man's G-spot in his ass. And you still refuse to believe that they are gay. You still still refuse to believe that they are gay and God literally gave you the blueprint. The foolishness. Oh my goodness. Because your G spot is in your ass. This makes you gay now. And you just had to become spiritual. Didn't you? The anus doesn't make enough lubrication on its own. Like the vagina does. When a man gets turned on, his butt doesn't get moist. It's not a natural thing for a man to get smashed in his ass. And when you watch this live stream, the ladies in the chat are laughing like little kids who aren't critical of what she's saying. And that's why you are losing because you love this foolishness. It takes away all of the responsibilities that you have. And that's exactly what you want. You don't want to be held responsible for your share. And because of that, you're considered low quality, low value women. We're not done with this yet because this goes a lot deeper. So stay tuned for part two. Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.